Well, well, well. Hello, hello. This is Brother Wes. This is Prophet Wes. Um, I'm back again. I'm back again. And um, this should be my last uh, video for the evening. Should be my last video for the evening. But my question is, uh, my statement is, is do not allow your emotions. Do not do not allow an emotional moment. Do not allow an emotional episode make you uh, talk to you in a way and make you say something that you will regret later. And so that's my message today is to um, uh, be swift to hear and slow to speak. Be swift to hear and slow to speak. That's the message. Be quick to, be quick to listen, to be quick to hear, to hear before you respond because... Um, one of the things that the adversary I, I've been talking about it all day is um, and he's coming on strong he comes he he will send a strong delusion illusion delusion he um, he's a trickster and and what he does he, he plays with your eyes he will play with your emotions he will play with anything that's fleshly that is natural he will play with it and people who pay attention so much to the natural and what they see He's going to get you. And so my caution, my caution, my caution, and, and it's, it's just to be careful about what you say because words kill, words destroy. And see, the thing about it, after you said it, you can't take it back. You can apologize. You can say, I'm sorry. I forgive you. But once it's out there, it's out there. So that's why you have to be careful how you act and react, especially even on social media, you look at it. Because it's not like when I was a kid, and I'm glad we didn't have all that uh, when I was a kid. But now, you put some out there, you put some out on social media, you put some out on uh, Twitter or whatever, it's there forever. It's there forever. And so think about that. Anytime you get in an emotional moment and when you want to say and do something to express or express or um, or, or yeah, express how you feel, express your mind, just think about what you say people going to watch it and what you say there's a consequence there's a consequence with everything you say and do and see the thing about it you might be in a situation where you might be in an unfortunate situation where you may feel as though you are being taken advantage of you might feel as though you're being used you're not being appreciated and all of that and that might be true but still whatever the case might be you still Required to act right. You're required by God to act right and also to speak right. Because God God is judging us and we are being judged by the deeds that are done in our body, but also we're being judged. The Bible says not what goes in, but what comes out of your mouth. You everything come out your mouth, you've been judged by it. Everything come out your come out. Everything you say, whatever your intentions are. You're being judged by it. And see, God knows your heart. Remember that God knows your heart when you say something. And see, the thing about it, to say something, the truth, to tell the truth with the intent to destroy many people or hurt people is wrong. It's wrong. If your motives are wrong, you're wrong. You're wrong. Um, there's a behavior behind being a Christian. There's a way of acting. There's an attitude. There's a lifestyle. And if you don't carry and don't portray that lifestyle, then the Bible speaks against uh, against you. And so we have to come in a line with the Bible, not with our attitude, not with how, how, how we feel, but based on the Bible, based on what God has put down in the Bible, put down in the word. And if we do anything contrary to that, regardless of how you feel, regardless of you expressing yourself, it's still wrong. See, because one of the things that you must understand, and as 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 bad as it, it may feel like it might sound, but God does not care nothing about your moods, your feelings, your desires, your emotions, if you don't do his will, if you don't listen to him, if you don't listen to him. He said, you said, well, now you say you love him, right? Okay, faith without works is dead. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. And you know what the commandments are? Love the Lord. With your heart, mind, soul, and strength. But you know what the other one is? Love your neighbor as yourself. Can you do that? 
Can you love your brother? Can you love your sister like you love love yourself? Or you put them beneath you? Can you? Love. That's what God looks for. That's what the, the true example of love is forgiveness. The true example of love is for, uh, forgiveness. But also in love, when you love also, you're going to be patient. You're going to be patient. And see, the thing about it, in patience, you need to realize that people don't think like you and people weren't raised like you. So why are you getting so mad at people when they don't think like you, when they're not raised like you? You must be patient. You must learn how to become patient with people just like God is being patient with you. Yeah, they're not you. They're, it's called an individual. They have an opinion. And so what you do, you, you take and you allow people to give their opinion, whatever it may be, listen to them. Then after they speak, they speak. And so it's a behavior behind what God is looking for. But those are my words for this evening. This is my last word for this evening. I want y'all to stay blessed and be good. And I'll see you in the morning. God bless you.